Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how I set up my new version of Zara Designer Pro. So the brand new version of Zara Designer Pro 10 just came out today, and I need to set up my new template. Now, right now, I'm still in uh, in version 9, and I wanted to, because I'm going to use that to explain some of the things I'm going to do. But the three main things that I do to set up a new version is, one, copy my template over, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, add my custom control bar because there's a particular one that I use that I like to use right here and then uh, add in my plugins. So those are the three things that I do and let's go ahead and dig right into it. So the first thing I want to do is copy my template. Uh, now I have a completely separate video on how to set up your your template, your custom template so that everything is there the way you like it. Uh, you should go ahead and watch that video and, and set yours up how you like yours. Uh, but I have one that's uh, exactly like I like it, so I'm going to find out where that is. So I'm going to go to uh, just on any old uh, um, page that you have open, any old uh, drawing that you have open, go ahead and go to File and go down to the Save as Template or Save Template uh, um, menu item. And if you click on that, it's going to give you exactly where your templates are saved. Um, so. Mine are in Program Files, uh, Zara, Zara Designer Pro 9, Templates, and then English, ENG. So that's where I need to go to find mine in the other program. So I'm going to cancel this and go to, this is version 10 over here that I have uh, uh, newly downloaded. And here I want to open, so I need to go File Open or just on the, click on that Open icon there. And it's going to say, where do you want to uh, go to open a file from? So I'm going to go to Computer. Program Files x86, down at the bottom is Zara, Zara Designer Pro x9, and then I need to find that uh, ENG, oh, was that right? I'm not sure. Let's go back and look. Check again, uh, save template, yeah, it was templates and then ENG, okay, cancel. Going back, so now I need to go to templates. ENG, and there we go. And the template that I have saved is this um, web page uh, uh, 960 pix XGA. That's my default template. Um, uh, yours may be something else, um, but this is the one that I have set up for my default template. And then, now that I have that open, and this has all of my colors already saved on it, all of my um, ruler set up the way I like it. it, it defaults with the ruler opened, it has all the guidelines on it, uh, on the sides of the page and in the center of the page, everything exactly the way I like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit that to page so that it's exactly like I like it. And then the last thing that I want to do is save this as my template. So I'm going to go File, Save Template. I'm going to go ahead and save over this version. It's the same thing, web page uh, 960 pix XGA. And then I'm going to make sure I click this Uses Default Template. And once I do that, Save. It's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I do. And there we go. That is now my default template. So if I close that and just press on this new file for a new document, that's exactly what I get every time. With all my custom colors saved, my name colors, and everything uh, set up just the way I like it. Okay, so that was number one. Copy my template. Now I'm going to add my custom control bar. Now I went ahead and did this already here, but it's very simple to do. Um, all you do, and I'm going to go ahead and press the Alt key and before I click this and grab it, I've gotten the, the button. I want to get the entire bar. Okay, so I created this bar called Shapes. Um, this is one that I use. Uh, I have um, another video on how to create your own custom to uh, toolbars, but it's very simple to do. If you go to Window, Control Bars, and come down to this button palette and click on it, um, Sorry, just arranging things on my screen so you can see them easier. Uh, here are all the buttons that are available for creating your own control bar, um, which is great. And if you want to uh, create your own, 
then you just press this new button. It's going to ask you to name it. And I'll just go ahead and call this one test for now before I named one shapes. This did not exist uh, prior to me opening up the program. And um, let's see, did it create one? Oh, there it is right here. Uh, sometimes you have to hunt around for it. It, it. it created it and then launched it up in the corner. So uh, there it is. Uh, and it's just this little bitty thing called test. And you, can, you can't even read the whole name because there's not enough on it. But if I wanted to, uh, I can go find anything that I want. So, so this, say this options, for example. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my computer and then click and drag it over to my toolbar. And I can continue to do that with as many of them as I want until I create the, the toolbar that I want to have. Uh, now, these are just nonsensical ones that I've grabbed uh, just to show you, but uh, it's that easy. And then once uh, you've created one that you like, you just grab it and drag it over to where you want it, either here or up here, for example, or up here, or anywhere you have some, some screen real estate. You can even leave it floating like, uh, like it is right now. Um, but I like it right over here on the side. And this is, uh, has all of my different shape things. All right, so that is my, um, let's see, where's test now? There's test. I'm going to highlight that and delete it because I don't need it. Don't want to delete it, yes. I'm going to go ahead and close all this stuff. All right, there we go. Now, um, the last thing I need to do, go back to my list, is add in my plugins. If you don't remember where your plugins are, you can use your old version to find that out as well. If you go to Utilities uh, and Options, uh, Effects and Plugins, on that tab, if you click the setup, it's going to tell you where you've got your, your plugins. Now, I keep them all in one central location because it's just easier for me to find them that way. Uh, heck, I can even... No, I can't highlight it. Uh, I was hoping that I could. But... Um, <clears throat> In, in this Dropbox uh, um, folder where I keep my plugins um, under a folder called Filters, that's where I can find them, and I need, just need to set that up in uh, uh, version 10. So I'm going to cancel, cancel this as well, go to version 10, go to Utilities, Options, Effects and Plugins, Setup, and I'm going to say Oh, well, would you look at that? It already found them. That's interesting. Uh, I did, wouldn't ex have expected that, but that's, uh, that's very nice that it automatically found them. Um, well, I didn't even have to set that up. So, wonderful. That's, uh, that's pretty neat and pretty easy. If uh, you have any questions um, or want to know anything else in particular about how I did something or why I did something, uh, feel free to... Um, drop me a line either on YouTube or on uh, Zara Users where I post my videos and, uh, and ask me there and I'll be happy to, uh, to fill you in. Uh, that's it. Um, the last thing I just want to show you is uh, I'm going to go ahead and close Designer Pro 10. And I'm going to actually close all of these right now. And if I reopen it, I'm going to just, just to show you that it, it worked. Here's my default template. Here is my button palette. And um, if I were to have something that I could uh, use, here are all my my template or my um, filters that I have set up. Uh, so I, I have some extras that are not that don't come with the with the program, and uh, those were in that folder that I that I had uh, set up. So that's it. Uh, I hope you found that useful and interesting, and we'll come back and see us again next time.